action. <laughs> As we all sit here and laugh, folks. Well, hello and everybody, welcome to From Milwaukee International. I'm Dan Grimmel. Oh, uh, over there we have John Lewandowski and over here, hey. Sarah Walker. Uh, I have, uh, we have a full set with us today. Uh, we have a new addition to our set, as well as everything around us. As we said, we've been talking about changing <laughs> our set. Uh, we're going to be doing this throughout the uh, hockey season for the holidays that come around. Um, you know, next one's going to be Thanksgiving, so there's going to be like leaves and fall and right and, and kids art and stuff like that coming up. Uh, so uh, my wife and, and kids, the kids. We'll all put this stuff together for us. So thank, thank you to them. Um, you know, uh, we work really hard. And speaking of people who work really hard, our sponsor at Hockey Locker, 202 West Hard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 404 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. As you guys saw in the uh, in this, the National Predators took on the, uh, well, you can't really e see it. The LA Kings. Um, for those of you who pay attention to our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or, or in particularly, you guys will be seeing those um, where we will be doing or how we will be doing our videos, letting you know where we will be doing them um, before we go into our shows. So that you guys know, hey, um, it's going to be a Zoom meeting because we're not all in the same room, or just giving you a general update real quick. Uh, if you, I'm going to be posting that every game so that you guys know when and how to expect our videos to look and what to expect from us, uh, just so that you guys are aware. Um, with that being said, the Preds took on the LA Kings. Uh, first time playing since 2020. Uh, early 2020. Um, right. Uh, they have some new faces and an old uh, old friend, uh, uh, Arvidsson, uh, part of the trade with them that, uh, lo and behold, uh, got us, uh, we got a second round pick out of, out of it, and that we traded away to get LaRue, um, and we still have the third from them this year. All right. That trade will not be told on who wins that deal for many years. Right, it won't. Um, so with that, there's that. Um, Arvidsson in his return to Nashville, um, no goals, no assists, um, minus one, had two shots on goal, three blocks, one takeaway, and was perfect on the faceoff, played 20 minutes of time on night. Uh, no, they just changed that to 19 minutes, 16 seconds, literally, as I was saying it. <laughs> mm. Um, so yes, his time on ice was pretty there. Uh, shots on goal were 31 to 26 Nashville. Uh, faceoffs were 60% to 40% Nashville. Nashville was one for two on the power play, where the Kings were 0 for two. Um, hits were uh, 16 to 14 for LA. Uh, blocks were 18 to 12 for LA. Giveaways were eight to nine. It's early in the year. I expect a lot of giveaways. To get the chemistry not there yet. Right. Um, so in that, we have scoring in the first period. Yes, it. Scoring in the second period, I think Kopitar, their captain, probably one of the best players um, throughout the, the 2010 decade, um, throughout that entire time, probably one of the best players playing around. Um, yeah. I, I don't, I, I understand why he's captain and why Brown isn't anymore. Uh, that that was his fifth goal of the year already with an assist from Dustin Brown, longtime LA King. He has right. been playing with the Kings since 2001. Yeah, um, really has been a long time. Um, and uh, Drew Doughty on the uh, sixth assist. But if we're going to talk about Drew Doughty, I guess we're going to have to talk about that Tanner Janot hit as well. Um, Tanner Janot flattened Doughty. So, um, also, I actually, there was an exchange that kind of made me chuckle a little bit. Um, for all of you that know um, and pay attention to the Twitter stuff and, and Instagram and all that stuff, 
you know that we've talked about on uh, several occasions about how Forsberg was not happy with the Arvidsson trade. Right. And uh, today, Arvidsson was coming up the ice and Forsberg gave him a stiff one. So I, I find it funny that, you know, and that's just sometimes friendly competition to go with it, but right. um, that's how that goes. Uh, in the third period, to start off the period, the Preds were on the power play off of a cross check that uh, was that happened at the end of of the uh, second period. Um, Matt Duchesne scored his first of the year with an assist for Granlin, his third, and Yossi his first. That was on the power play, um, one minute seven seconds in. Uh, then at the five minutes six seconds in, Tanner Janelle gets his first with an assist from Sissons and Carrier. That's an all out. Uh, oh, let's see. Uh, Tanner Janot, Sissons, Carrier, Yossi, all out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, just to give a little background. Okay? Yeah. Uh, in, net, in net for LA was Cal Peterson. Uh, he stopped 29 to 31 with a 9.35 save percentage. In net for Nashville, who else but Juice, Juicy Soros. He stopped 25 for 26 with a 0. 0.6, 0.9626 save percentage. Much more of what I wanted to see from Juice. He looked really good today. I yeah, he, he did. Good. He looked good all year. It's the rest of the team that didn't, and they all put that together today, and it was good to see. Yeah, a lot of hard effort and work put in today. You could definitely tell. That, and I think the coach had a streaming match. <laughs> from uh, last week um, currently a, a, uh, another news around the league uh, since we did not get to that we're just going to do scores around the league for today uh, current scores that are final uh, New, York, New York Islander beat Chicago Blackhawks 4-1 uh, Detroit beat Columbus 4-1 uh, Washington beat Colorado 6-3 Dallas beat uh, Pittsburgh uh, two to one in a shootout. Um, New Jersey beat uh, Seattle Kraken, uh, who have dropped uh, three straight since winning in Nashville. Uh, Florida beat Tampa Bay four to one. San Jose Sharks beat Montreal five to nothing. The Buffalo Sabers beat Vancouver, moving to three and zero on the year. Woo, nice. Um, five to two. Uh, Anaheim is currently beating Edmonton uh, four to three at the end of the second, and Winnipeg and Minnesota are in OT at the current moment. Okay. And it's in five seconds. In that. Um, in other news, uh, we wanted to give a little bit of love to Phil Forsberg for playing his 500th NHL game. Believe it or not, that feels like that he hasn't been around that long. Right. <laughs> it's He's been around that long. Um, also, kudos for a guy playing his 500th game. We got a guy playing in his first. Right. And for us, that's special because we all know that down here in Milwaukee, well, up here in a weird geographical sense. <laughs> right. Um, in Milwaukee, our job is to, to develop the guys you guys draft. And we've done a wonderful job with, with Tommy Novak. He did oh, pretty solid in his first appearance as well. Uh, Novak had, uh, as far as time on ice, he had nine minutes, 23, uh, nine minutes, 29 seconds, 33% on the faceoff, two shots, and one block. Um, not a, a bad first game. If you weren't in the negative, you didn't make many mistakes, and he looked hungry. So, yeah, I did. And, and that's something Nashville looking for. And, and I'm, I'm going to say this. I think it's going to be a revolving door of forwards this year for Nashville, much like last year. I think that they're going to go with whoever's hot in the minors. And if there's a guy slumping, you're going down if you don't got to go through waivers. Yeah. Give you some time. Get your momentum back. Come back up if you're the next guy on the list. If you're not, then I'm sorry. you got to work harder. Right. Another thing I wanted to say is it's nice to see Duchesne get on the scoreboard because 
Well, since coming here, he hasn't really done a lot of that. Right. Um, you know, it's really nice to see that. It was he was brought here to do just that, and he he got his payday, and it seemed like he didn't want it. And now that he has been put in that position to succeed on that top line, which is what he wanted, he's taking it a little bit, but it, it's a work in progress. Okay. Um, other than that, uh, Benning and uh, Borovesky were the guys in for defense today. Uh, Myers and Harper out. Um, I would have taken Myers over over uh, Benning. Borovesky's been looking pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but Benning just, it, uh, for whatever reason, he just doesn't have it. He may have it at the AHL level, but I just don't see him having it at the NHL level. Um, I, I, I have to emphasize that. Um, that that's kind of how that goes. Um, right. Our next video will be another Zoom video. Um, it'll be Thursday where the Brent host the Rangers. Um, the Rangers right now, standing-wise, statistically, are two one and one. Uh, they have ten goals against and eight goals for minus two on that stat sheet. Oh, and okay. one home, they've played a lot on the road. They are coming yeah. off a two-game win streak. Um. Outside of that, leading the league right now is a three-way, is a two-way tie between the Florida Panthers and the Buffalo Sabres. Oh, wow. I don't think I'd have thought of saying that to start the year when I started. No, not at all. Um. You know, and, and, and there's a part where Buffalo's youth had to mature at some point. Right. And Florida, they have everything. They just had to put it together. And I put right. them together. Um, as far as divisional goes, I'm just going to give you a little breakdown of the Central just so that you guys know everything going on. Um, Chicago and Winnipeg are winless, along with Arizona. Have not won a game yet. Minnesota is two and no. Currently checking out the score of that game. Minnesota just won in overtime. Three going out. So now. You add, they have six points. Nashville's moved themselves into second place uh, with Colorado, or into fourth place tied with Colorado. Uh, one, two, and oh. Uh, Nashville has a minus one for goals for versus goals against. Uh, the worst in the league currently is looking like Arizona. I think so. Uh, no, it's Montreal, minus 12. Oh, yeah, that's right. They lost again tonight, 5 nothing. to the Shark. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so there's there's your little around the league kind of update. Um, I would like to let you all know that uh, please remember that October and November are Hockey Fights Cancer Month. Please, please remember that, you know, to support, support those. Everyone has somebody who's dealt with this. Um, yep. Yeah monster that is cancer um you know uh they have the uh utica has the shirts that say uh puck the virus and puck cancer and i, I agree with those statements because right now we've got to get through these these tough times and families all every year some family is faced by the this this horrible horrible disease and right and uh, as a as a as a person who's had two family members in my lifetime already, one younger than me, one older than me, my grandmother passed from it. My younger co cousin at twenty three had it. it. It was just it's not fun. It's nothing. 
I, I, I've gone through watching two people go through it. I hate it. I will do whatever it takes to raise awareness for it. So if you guys can all donate to the cancer, American Cancer Society, um, I will be posting a link to that on our Facebook page. Um, that would be a, a great tribute to us. Uh, and, and we would greatly appreciate any help we can do to come, uh, come beyond, get beyond this. Um, apparently our feline mascot wants to make a vocal appearance but not a visible one. <laughs> Um, but other than that, we've had, we've had a lot of fun here tonight. It's good to get the monkey yep. off our back because, you know, not winning in the playoffs, all but one game, not winning to start your year, the first two at home. Right. About one more before you go on the road. You didn't want to go on the road. Oh, and four. It's just something we didn't want. Um. So we'll be we'll be back here on Thursday for that, as well as uh, I will we will be back here Friday for an Admirals game. We have, if I remember correctly and I counted it right, six games in four days. Yeah, I think so. Because uh, the uh, Preds play Thursday, Admirals play Friday, <clears throat> all three teams play Saturday, and the Preds play again on uh, Sunday against the Lions. Yes, in Minnesota. So uh, those are all things we have uh, coming forward for you guys. Uh, just giving you a little weekend update for us. Um, any transactions or uh, local news or any news? Um, also, uh, like it's looking good over there, Everblades. Like the new home jersey. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, See you all soon. Everblades, they dropped the puck for their first game on Saturday. Um, we dropped the puck on our third game on Saturday, on Saturday, second game on Friday. Preds play their fourth, this, and sixth game <laughs> on Friday. So, wait, fourth game on Thursday. Thursday, fifth game on Saturday, and sixth game on Sunday. There you go, folks. There's your little breakdown of everything going on. Cut. <laughs> <laughs>